You shouldn't get married without talking, but you can get married without flirting. There's a difference between the two. Islam does not prohibit people from talking before getting married. In fact, it encourages that we talk before we get married. You ask important questions. You know, your favorite color is not going to affect whether or not we have a good marriage, right? You ask important questions about deen, about character, about likes and dislikes, about priorities, about vision of a family, about, you know, uh, career. Those are questions that you want to ask. And you also see if your character lines up. Plus, I think the word flirting has multiple connotations. It can mean many things, right? You don't have to talk rough and, and just business-like, but at the same time, you, you can't transgress. You can't go past, you know, the, the things that Islam has barred. Why? Because look, if you go there, I'd say it's actually risky to be romantic before getting married. Why? Because when you do that, you lose your mind. At that point, you're not going to see any of the flaws of a person because you want that person to be perfect. Marriage is a decision that you want to make with your full senses. You want to make sure that you're thinking properly when you get married, right? And love is very blinding. Sometimes you get attracted to the idea of someone and so you're not thinking properly about who that person really is. Let's just say I have many funny stories of people that really wanted their, the person they wanted to marry to be the right person. So, uh, Sheikh, I prayed istikhara and I saw this dream. And in this dream, she was wearing a white dress. I said, that has nothing to do with your istikhara. That's because you were thinking about her before you went to sleep. You know, or someone says, yeah, she doesn't do any of the things that are Islamic, but she told me she loves Surah Al-Rahman. MashaAllah, that's not gonna save your marriage, you know? <laughs> you have to think about priorities. Look for their deen and their character always, religion and character. The first thing the Prophet said, if someone comes to you whose religion and character is pleasing to you, then marry that person. Isn't it very short time to know a person without flirting, just have a conversation two or three times? It seems to be very <laughs> risky. It doesn't have to be just two or three times. You know, if you realize the wisdom of the Sharia, it doesn't say you can only talk two, three times per se. It says what you can't do. Not what you have to do, what you can't do. Because that keeps us within the bounds of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It keeps us talking in ways that are important. Look, some people are going to need more conversation. As long as they don't transgress the halal or, you know, and go into the haram by becoming physically intimate and speaking, you know, getting romantic with their language and uh, being alone together. As long as they're not, then they can ask questions. They can talk. And I think, by the way, one thing that's very important in marriage is to ask about the person before you marry them. To people that know the person well, okay? Marriage is a risk, okay? Because a person can misrepresent themselves over 20 times or over 100 times. And so that's where your trust in Allah comes. The intention to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you get married and praying istikhara properly. And inshallah ta'ala, you know, we, we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us righteous and good spouses.